Uh, in this example problem, we're going to find the nominal moment capacity of this triangular section shown, uh, shown here. Uh, so we'll have three number eight bars as our tension reinforcement, which will give us a steel area of 2.37 square inches. Uh, we're given 3 KSI concrete and 60 KSI is our yield strength of our steel. Um, so as we've been doing, we will start with equilibrium. And we'll uh, have compression equal to tension. So on our compression side, we'll have 0.85 uh, F prime C is the stress that will be distributed over our um, rectangular stress block. Um, and the stress block in this case has a triangular shape. So we will have A times A over 2 as our area. Uh, so on the tension side, we'll have the same uh, AS, and we'll assume uh, that our steel is yielded FY. Uh, so we can plug in uh, some values here, and we'll have our 0.85 times 3 KSI concrete times a squared over 2 equals our AS 2.37 square inches times our FY is 60 KSI. Uh, we can then solve for A. So we'll have A is the square root of our 2.37 60 KSI divided by 0.85 3 KSI concrete and then times uh, 1 half. And we'll find our A to be equal to 10.56 inches. We'll need to make sure, uh, we assumed that our steel yielded, so we need to check that assumption. Uh, so we can take, or find our C first. So our C is equal to A divided by beta 1. So for 3 KSI concrete, our beta 1 is 0.85. So we'll get our C to be 12.42. We can then... Uh, Use similar triangles in our strain diagram to find our epsilon s, which will just be 0 0.003 times d minus c, so 22 inches minus 12.42 inches divided by c, which is 12.42. So we'll get our epsilon s to be equal to 0 0.00. Two, three, which is greater than the yield strength of our steel, um, in our case 0 0.0021. So our assumption that our steel yielded um, is okay. While our steel has yielded, um, it's not above our, our tension controlled uh, limit of 0 0.005. So we're in the, the transition zone. Um, so we need to find our, our phi. Um, so we can plug in our epsilon s, um, 0 0.0023, uh, to find our phi, and we'll find that um, phi, in this case, will be 0 0.68. Um, so we'll use that when we're finding our, our, our factored nominal moment capacity. So we'll find our nominal moment capacity the same way that we've been finding it. We, we will sum our moments about the centroid of our compression block. Uh, in our case, the centroid of our compression block is the center of this triangle, which will be two-thirds of the way um, down from the top. So rather than um, A over 2, we'll have um, two-thirds A from the top. Uh, so that's where we get our, our uh, different lever arm from the equations that we've looked at before. Uh, so let's plug in our, our values. So our AS, in our case, um, times FY, is going to give us uh, 142.2 uh, kips. We'll have our D of 
22 inches minus 2 times a 10.56 divided by 3 and solving we can find that our m n will then be equal to 2127 kip inches. Uh, so we can take this times our phi that we found to find our m n equal to our phi m n equal to uh, so 0 0.68 times 2127 kip inches which will give us a factored nominal moment capacity of 1438 kip inches which will be our final answer. So this is how you can find the nominal moment capacity of a, a triangular section.